Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Your discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to GeoGuessr. We're doing a diverse world today, map by mapper, three minute time challenge. Dirt fucking road, middle of nowhere. Exactly how I wanted to start the day, if you ask me. And then we come to a four way intersection with a dirt road on our left, our right, in front of us with no signs whatsoever gonna be a good fucking day actually it looks like there's a building over here so that's the way we came from that's the way we're gonna go hopefully hopefully we're able to figure it out there's a good chance is this barbed wire it is could this be a military installation and then there's a church of sorts and then words uh, you fucking got me. You fucking got me. Oh god, we're done. We're done for. We just started the day, and we're already screwed. Now, guys, the Discord is up and running. It's finally good to go. Uh, the link will be in the description below. You can see all the inner workings of GeoGuessr, I guess. I don't even know. And then obviously things are always subject to change. And then I'll be I'll be excited to talk to you guys a little bit more fluidly in there. But we'll see what we'll see how it goes. Now honestly, I don't really know how Discord works <laughs> fully. I use it. I use it all the time. Uh, but I've never been a server owner before, so it's gonna be a learning process between all of us. But besides that, it's gonna be fun. I hope so. Fuck. I hope so. And then you get to see all the links posted around when I acquire them. Instead of waiting, get some extra time in, see a little extra secret, talk to some people about certain locations. It's going to be great. At least that's the intention. Now, even though we passed all those buildings, I haven't seen a single road sign besides the original location. Uh, and I think it was in Spanish. Now, we only got about 35 seconds left. But I'm thinking either two locations, Brazil, Argentina. Here's where we wanted to go. What does it say? That says something on it that's important. Come on. Whatever that says, I think it might say Colombia. Um, South America. Actually, let's go Paraguay. Because uh, it's in Spanish, but the, the O makes me think like border Brazil. Ooh, that's a good location. Uh, you guys you guys got it better. 129 miles, though. That's not bad. Uh, usually, when it comes to Brazil, we get like a 1,000 miles off. Never really 100. Uh, so, that just ends up being a good guess. And looks like you guys weren't on the money either, so we still are in it. 300 points, that's not bad. There's the Russian flag right there if you needed anything to tell you you were in Russia. This doesn't feel like Russia, though, now that I'm thinking about it. Yes, this truck may have the Russian flag on the back of it. Yes, we may be in the middle of bumfuck nowhere with some puppies running around. Uh, but I haven't seen a single Russian letter. Hmm. We're being followed by a taxi, and we're following this truck. This is not okay. <laughs> we are gonna die. Uh, Servicio? Yeah, that's definitely not Russian. So then, who the fuck is driving the Russian truck? Uh, and it says Mechanica. So this is a mechanic. It's supposed to be a mechanic. Um, you would ex the place that I'm expecting to find uh, the town name blurred no surprise there thanks to you guys you're the best uh, Humberto Quintero and there's a dot com this is something I would expect to find South America another South American guess and we're basing that off of the language we're finding um, it looks like there's a flag over here. Maybe Mexico. 
Well, we already saw the Russian flag, so it doesn't really matter, I suppose. What it says. It's lying to us. Alright. Universita del Ad Agdelina. And it looks like it's an 032, which I believe is also Brazil. We learned a few Brazil um, things back in the day. What does that say? That org.cb? I think that's a C something. So maybe we're in Colombia, which actually would make a lot more sense. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Throw down a random location. Uh, turn back around. Where was that? The hotel? No, we didn't want the hotel. Uh, is it this? Yeah, the Universite del Egg de Lina. Can we find an Egg de Lina anywhere? Parto. Um, now, I believe most of Colombia is covered. I know Venezuela isn't. So I don't know where our limitation really begins. I don't think everything is going to be fully mapped out. I don't believe any place is fully mapped out. you got to have a lot of random bullshit going on. you got to take into account all the blurry images, the remapping, all the crappy images, all the times that it rained, etc., etc., etc. Uh, so random location, middle of Columbia. Ballin'. Now we're down by 500. Uh, if we would have got a lot further south, there's a good chance we could have caught up. Uh, but still not a bad guess so that definitely did say that co uh, which is columbia and hey look guys i found the russian after the russian flag was gone hmm we have mountains to our north this is what's throwing me off uh this feels like a trailer park i don't want to insult anybody but that feels like a trailer park in the middle of russia not exactly something i expect maybe you guys do uh but definitely not something i expect I'm thinking potentially Mongolia. Potentially. Uh, nothing on any of these signs that we could probably use to our advantage. Which sucks. Um, but it definitely, I could see why it feels Russian. Right? Like, I, I get it. I get the, the feel of it. But I, I don't want to guess Russia. I don't. I'm thinking Mongolia might be the better bet, strictly because of how the city is laid out. And maybe that's stupid. Maybe maybe all the places in Russia and Mongolia and all those, what would you call it, Central Asian countries like Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan, all that, all that. Maybe they're all set up like this. Maybe this is the general feel, the normal feel of it. Or... Maybe I figured something out, you know? And we have a better chance that I didn't figure something out and I'm stupid than this doesn't feel like Russia, so we're not going to guess Russia. I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Do you ever get those those just gut instinct feelings where, you, where you're in a location here and you're like, you know what, it looks like this. I can't find anything to prove why it looks like this, but I'm going to go with my gun anyway. And we get that a lot. And now, I'm not saying that we're always right. I'm far fucking from it. Okay, so here's the thing. Does that K actually mean something? I'm thinking it does. I'm thinking it does when we're in Kazakhstan. Um, actually, no, Kazakhstan doesn't have street coverage, but Kyrgyzstan does. Or is it the other way around? Now, I think it's Kyrgyzstan does, Kazakhstan doesn't. So we're going to go with Kyr Kyrgyzstan. Um, because there's a K right here on the license plate. That's it. That's the only fucking reason. And maybe, maybe that makes us really fucking stupid. Maybe that was the one clue we needed. Because we haven't found a single flag. And almost every time we get into Russia, we do find a flag. Is this a... Oh, God. I thought this was a billboard from far away. So I was rushing towards it to try and uh, get a website off of it. And it ends up being Russia. All right. So that's... That's where we, we fucking... Of course we're going to fuck up. I'm not surprised. 
it's a town that starts with a K. Maybe, maybe that's why there was a K on their license plate. I, I could have, I could have done that. But we fucked up. We done fucked up big time. That that was that was our our game to lose, and we we lost it. All right, let's finish off strong. We got a white divider line. Probably not in the United States. Uh, call Mensch Transport, and then GMBH. I have no idea how to even attempt to pronounce that. There's no vowels. <laughs> There's no vowels. Like, what the fuck? I don't even know how to pronounce a GM together. Like, gum, gum, gum. Is it gum, gum, gum? Like, what the fuck? Put a fucking A in there, man. Gam. Put a Y in there, Jim. Put an E in there, Jam. Like, fuck you. Alright, Hamzebeji Lee, and then Hudut. Uh, so, 10 kilometers. There's no interesting characteristics about any of those letters. So, based on that, we're fucked. Maybe we just got unlucky. Maybe we need to find something else. Uh, as of right now, I'm thinking maybe Turkey. I don't know why. It's, it's one of those insects things, but clearly my instincts are telling me not to guess Russia. We are right in fucking Russia. So let's not listen to them today. Here's a Turkish flag. Uh, so it does add some credibility to wanting to guess Turkey instead of going with just instincts today. Why are all these trucks pulled over to the side of the road? That is the million dollar question. Is this uh, police? Nah, I think these are just two bros. Truckers. Chilling on the side of the road talking to each other. Oh yeah, there's the Turkey. There's the TR. Uh, so, I'm guessing... This is Turkey. I can, I can make that out. This is probably the city the truck is from. I'm pretty sure most of the left of Turkey, the west, is covered. And most of the east isn't could be fucking wrong. Eskizura and then there's Ezerum. No, it's right here. So um that doesn't mean that's where we are, but that means that's where this truck is from. If we could find out why all these trucks are on the side of the road, maybe what the f You saw those birds, right? Is it police? Is this guy getting arrested? Or was he just holding his hands like that for no fucking reason? Uh, it might be like a way station or something similar. These are... What the fuck? Oh, it ends up being a lot further north. I wanted to find out what was going on there, man. God. So, based on that, it looks like we were going into a border of Bulgaria. Makes sense. Uh, all the trucks are probably pulled over to go through inspection. I'm sure it takes hours to get through. Uh, but we went off of where the truck said it was from. So at least we uh, we were able to find that location. And then the last and final location. We're starting off with a red barn and then a red house. We're going fucking Nordic. I don't fucking care. You guys are going to be like, math, that doesn't mean shit. Stop it. But you know what? Every fucking time, there's just a red house chilling. There's the yellow and the blue. It works, guys. It fucking works. If it does... If it didn't work, I'd understand. Right? I'd be like, alright, like, it's been like four times now. Like, I gotta fucking relax. I'm guessing Nordic countries when I see a red fucking house. But come on, guys. Every fucking time. Every fucking time. I just load in and there's just a red fucking house staring me in the face. We're in fucking Sweden. Or Norway. Or Finland. Now, I believe the flag was yellow and blue, which is Sweden. That's why we guess Sweden. Now, now we look for a sign. And I'm not talking about like a sign from Jesus sign. I'm talking like a street sign. <laughs> that literally says, hey guys, you want to go to Helsinki? You're in Finland. Cool. Love it. Give me a fucking sign. Damn. Alright, we got a dog-shaped sign that says something that I can't read because it's too small. 
I don't know, guys. I feel like this is uh, not going to end exactly how we all expect it. Or maybe this is exactly how you all expect it. You got the red fucking house. I'm guessing fucking Sweden. Typical 100% unadulterated math right there. Alright? There's, there's no ins, outs, or anywhere else. It's maps are a red house, so I guess fucking Sweden. Who would have fucking thought? Maps are Russian, said, I'm not guessing Russia, fuck that shit. You know, it's, it's, it's what keeps you guys entertained. I fucking hope it's what keeps you guys entertained. But we're not finding anything. Oh, that could be interesting. That could be really interesting. Sorry about that. Let's see, no additional flag on this flagpole, because you know what? That would just be way too convenient. But it does have that dome-esque shape that you would expect in Russia. There's a .com, there's the total renovation specialties. All right. Um, I'm thinking we're probably going to be closer to Stockholm. I don't think we're on a major road, so let's go out here in the countryside. We actually finally found a sign. Talbo? Talbo. Alright. I have no idea what Talbo is. I've never heard of Talbo before. But let's just hope we're in the right spot. And we actually pulled in and got 500 extra points. So, what the fuck was today? Not good. That's what today was. Now, we did do this a little bit earlier. I wasn't going to get a break uh, going into work. Because some people are fucking assholes. But, things happen. Things happen. That's what the disco is going to be. I'm going to try to give you guys a 30 minute heads up. Again, it is ready to go. I know some of you skip ahead to see uh, the scores. And then you go from there. And then you watch the whole video. So, Discord's up. Ready to go. Description link in the bottom area whatever the fuck it's called ah uh, but yeah russia it was russia man we had a good guess in russia and a good guess in colombia had it won had it fucking won we only lost by four thousand points which is russia uh but let's check out the uh the full fucking results that is philly i'm coming in first place so uh to be honest with the score, I wasn't expecting Aphelion to be at 22. I was expecting Aphelion to not play. So there definitely were some tougher locations. Martin in second with Tapiris and myself really not too far behind. And it looks like it was all that Russia. It was all Russia. And then Oleg. Oleg not far behind either. God, ever, look. Aphelion got a good Russia guess, right? Good guess in Russia, first place. Terrible guess in Russia, which it looks like everyone else. Kind of within a thousand points of each other. And that, that literally is how far away in Russia did you actually guess. And I didn't even guess Russia. I should have guessed Mongolia. We would have been a lot closer with that Mongolia guess. Uh, but definitely a lot harder than I think I was expecting. Uh, definitely a lot less clues than normal and maybe we're just so used to getting all these really good clues that when we don't get anything it really shows but besides that I do hope you all enjoyed I do look forward to interacting with all of you over in the discord but until that have a good rest of your day guys and bye bye